These stones talk about the past. They stay long after the living have moved on to a better place. This stone courthouse is about all that remains of Tascosa, the cowboy capital of the Texas Panhandle. The town of Tascosa, which actually started in the mid-1870s, about 1876, uh, operated to support the big ranches in this area. And it was kind of a freighter area where they freighted goods from Dodge City down here back into eastern New Mexico. What killed it, of course, was barbed wire when it came in in the 1880s, and uh, William Lee of the LS Ranch uh, had a big hand in it when he let the railroad bypass Tascosa into a town he started just west of here called Cheyenne. When the railroad bypassed it and the barbed wire encircled it, most of the businesses moved to Amarillo. Uh, the town slowly died. In 1915, they closed the courthouse. That pretty much killed the town completely. Growing around Tascosa today is Cal Farley's Boys Ranch, and Mike Pacino knows a lot about the road that led to the present. This is the original Oldham County Schoolhouse, protected and restored. And this is the spot where Tascosa personality Frenchie McCormick lived. She's buried in the cemetery east of town. In the Boot Hill Cemetery, there's a grittier past. We do have four people buried up there that were killed in one gunfight at the Dun & Jenkins Saloon back in uh, 1886. But as old as Tascosa is, the story didn't begin there. Before Tascosa, there was Casamero Romero. He was the first one. That's where Boys Ranch is now. Tascosa later, but he was the first uh, pastore to, uh, to come into the Oldham County. Oldham County Sheriff Dave Medlin loves history. The pastores were sheep herders from New Mexico. He takes us to sheep pens they used more than 100 years ago. They established some main plazas along the river, and then along the tributaries, they would have these pens and stuff where they would be grazed in this area. And that's what we have here is one of the, the uh, areas that's on one of the tributaries of the Canadian River. This is on the east side of that large pen. As you can tell, there a, was a small dwelling here. But when the sheep herders came in, this was beautiful country. Uh, it, it probably much prettier than it is now. This is a photo of Jose Romero, Casimero's son. The sheep herders and the ranchers converged on the Canadian River Valley and eventually cattle won out. But as Sheriff Medlin would be quick to stress, they were there before the cattlemen were and uh, just brought the first civilization, first culture of any type to the, the River Valley there. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.